Hi guys, I wanted to create a little flow for you that you could do from home during this lockdown period. I know that I am definitely going to find it hard not being able to come out and connect with you every single day, practice with you each day, um, and just share that time together, checking in. So this is the best way that I could think of to still be able to share what it is that I'm passionate about and be able to keep you inspired to get moving each day from your home. Um, so let me know what you think about this. If you have any questions in particular or there's special requests or things that you want to know, please leave a comment or send me a message. I am totally open to collaborating in this process rather than me just creating content willy-nilly. I would way rather that you guys actually use it. So if there's anything in particular that you have questions about, fire away and I will do my best to um, create work that supports that. Um, for today, we're just gonna have a nice little flow, get a bit of a sweat on, come into some stretches, open the hip up, some back bends. Um, yeah, just enjoy. So come into the very back of your mat to get started. Two big toes are together underneath you. You're gonna draw your knees out nice and wide to either side. Take a moment to just land here, feel the ankles open up underneath you. Good. Lengthen up through your spine. Let's take a deep breath in. As you exhale, begin to walk your hands out nice and long onto the mat in front of you, sitting up for child's pose, gently pressing your forehead down onto the mat. Good. Once you get here, you're gonna close your eyes down, gently start to connect with your breath. Notice a deep breath in, filling your belly and a long breath out. Good. I invite you to set an intention for your practice here today. When you're ready, let's gently look forward towards your fingertips. Feel the hips begin to open. You're going to come into puppy pose. So reach your fingers towards the front of the room. Gently lift the hips. Open your chest down towards the mat. Keep your gaze looking forward. Good. If you find it hard, you're welcome to not bring the chest down quite so far, just work into opening. If your chest is on the floor, see if you can reach the fingers a little further forward. Staying for one deep breath in and a full breath out. When you're ready, gently unfurl, bring yourself back up to tabletop. Check the knees are stacked underneath your hips and your hands are underneath your shoulders. You're going to spread your fingers out nice and wide, grounding into the hands firmly, moving into cat-cow. Let's drop the belly. Inhale, lift the chin, looking up. Good. Exhale, tuck your tailbone, crease the mid away. Head is nice and heavy, rounding through your spine. Good. In your own time, flow through here. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift the gaze, lift the tailbone. Good. Exhale, press, rounding through your spine. Good. Let's just move through. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, looking back. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, looking back. Good. When you're ready, coming back through to centre, find a neutral spine. You want to tuck the toes and gently hover your knees off the mat. Press into your hands. Use your core here. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. One more time, inhale. As you exhale, lift your hips and let's come back into downward facing dog. Check your hands are shoulder width distance apart in front of you with your fingers spread nice and wide. Gently let the head fall heavy, gazes back onto your two big toes. Good. Feet are hip width distance apart here. And we're gonna bend the knees, start to open up through the hamstrings and the backs of the calves. Maybe shake the neck out if you need to a little bit. Press into your hands, lift the hips up nice and high, deep breath in, full breath out. Deep breath in as you fill your belly, full breath out as you exhale, navel comes into spine. One more time here, inhale. As you exhale, looking forward, let's gently tippy toe the feet all the way to the top of your mat and find ragdoll here. Feet stay hip width distance apart. Take a hold of opposite elbows. Allow your head to be nice and heavy. 
and let's gently sway back into the heels, rocking into your toes. Just find a little bit of freedom here in the posture. Deep breath in. Exhale, belly to thighs. Deep breath in. Exhale, lengthening your spine. Drop your hands to the floor and let's gently unravel. Come all the way up to standing. Floating your arms to the sky. Draw your feet together underneath you. And hands come to your heart center. Beautiful. Okay, so grounding into your feet, let's get started with our flow today. Inhale, reaching arms up to the sky. Forward fold, exhale, bow your body. Come all the way down. Tuck the chin in towards your shins. Take a halfway lift, lengthen the spine, look forward, straight spine, hands can come to shins if you need. Good, step back, find your high plank here. Yeah, let's hold nice and strong. Pressing the mat away, engaging through your core, tucking tailbone, energy is shooting out your heels. Take a nice deep breath in. Stay for your exhale. One more time, inhale. Dropping to your knees, gently lower your heart, keep the elbows in nice and close to the body. And let's roll the shoulders back, draw the elbows down towards your hips, little baby cobra opening through the chest and working your back. Deep breath in, full breath out. Gently rolling back through, let's meet in downward facing dog. Hips are up nice and high to the sky. Sway the pelvis out if you need to, find some freedom here, rolling through the ankles and the feet. Checking fingers are pressed down into the mat. Take a nice deep breath in, full breath out. Looking forward, stepping two feet to the top of your mat. Big toes land together. Take a halfway lift to lengthen. Forward fold, exhale, bow your body. Inhale to rise, reach all the way up. Gazes to thumbs, hands to heart center. Good, begin again. Inhale, reach up. Forward fold, exhale, bow your body. Come all the way down. Halfway lift, lengthen and look forward. Two hands to your mat, stepping back, find your high plank. Your choice whether you drop to the knees or not, lowering yourself down, find chaturanga, low plank. Untuck your toes, upwards facing dog, lift the chest up towards the ceiling, gazes up, deep breath in, full breath out, rolling over your toes, press back, downwards facing dog. Good, notice the breath, inhale, full breath out. One more time, inhale, looking forward, step or jump, two feet to the top of your mat. Take a halfway lift, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Inhale to rise, reach all the way up, gaze to your thumbs, hands to heart center. Let's begin again, inhale, reach up. Forward fold, exhale, bow your body. Halfway lift, inhale. Two hands to the mat, step or jumping back this time. High plank, exhaling down to your low plank. You can drop to the knees if you need to. Untuck the toes for upwards facing dog, inhale. Meeting back and downwards facing dog. Hips up nice and high to the sky. Keep bending your knees if you need to. Lift and lengthen up through the spine. Head is nice and heavy, deep breath in. Full breath out, looking forward. Step or jump, two feet to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold. Inhale to rise, reach all the way up. Hands to heart. Begin again, inhale, reach up. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift. Two hands to your mat, step or jump back for high. Exhale down to your low. Upwards facing, inhale. Downward facing dog, hips up nice and high to the sky. Let's take the right leg up, inhale nice and tall. Find your three-legged dog here. Kicking up nice and strong. Good, from here you're gonna stack the hip, take the foot over towards the left. Gazes up and under. Gently opening out, you can draw a few circles here through your hip. Okay, and then back the other way. Gently releasing down onto the mat. Good. Let's take the left leg up nice and tall to the sky. Inhale. Stack the hips, take the foot over. A few little circles here, opening up the hip. Press into your hands. 
Engage the core, back the other way. Good, gently lowering onto the mat, deep breath in. Looking forward, step or jump two feet to the top of your mat. Take a halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Sink hips low, come into chair pose, Utkatasana. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Gaze is up nice and strong. Good. If you look down, make sure you can see your toes. So your weight is predominantly into your heels. Spark the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. Sink a little deeper. Tight shoulders, open your elbows, open the chest, draw the shoulder blades together behind you. Okay, one more time. Inhale, forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Two hands to the mat, step or jump back for high plank, exhale into low. Take your upwards facing dog, inhale. Meeting back for downwards facing dog. Right leg lifts up, inhale, nice and tall. Good, gaze is up towards your right big toe, kick up as high as you can, and then look forward and step through to find your crescent lunge. High on your back toes here. Hands can come to hips to start if you need to. When you're ready, reach arms up to the sky. Good. Notice this back foot, lift up the back heel, sink into that front knee. Good, deep breath in. Sinking deeper. One more time, inhale, warrior two, peel the body open, back foot drops down, arms are nice and long, draw the shoulders down, sink a little deeper, flip your front palm, inhale, reverse the warrior gazes up, two hands to find the floor, step back high, exhale to low, upwards facing, downwards facing dog, hips up high, left leg lifts up, inhale, nice and strong, Look up to your left big toe and then look forward. Step through. Come to find your crescent lunge here. Hands to hips to start if you need to. Connect to the breath when you're ready. Lift up high on those back toes. Gaze is up. Deep breath in. Warrior two, open the body. Sink deep into that front knee. Flip the front palm, reverse. Exhale, find the floor. Two hands to the mat, step back, high to low. Upwards facing, meeting back and downwards facing dog. Good. Let's find five breaths here and then flow through our sun B together. One more time, inhale. Looking forward, exhale, step or jump. Top of the mat, halfway lift. Forward fold. Sink the hips low, Ukatasana, chair pose. Reach up, exhale, let it go. Halfway lift. Two hands to earth, step or jump back for high through the low plank. Upward facing, inhale. Downward facing, hips up. Right leg lifts, inhale. Looking forward, step through. Crescent lunge, reach up, nice and strong. Warrior two, open the body. Flip the front palm. Reverse, find the floor. High plank to low. Upwards facing, inhale. Downwards facing dog, hips up, you got it. Left leg lifts up, nice and tall. Look forward, step through. Inhale to rise, reach up. Warrior two, peel the body open. Flip the front palm, reverse, gaze is up. Exhale, find the floor. High plank to low. Upwards facing, downwards facing dog. If you need to, please feel free to drop down. Take a child's pose here. Rest. A little bend in the knees if you need. Just take a nice deep breath in. Full breath out. Good. Taking the right leg up to the sky. Inhale, nice and tall. Looking forward, step through. Finding your crescent lunge here. Reaching arms up to the sky. Good. Let's just land here. Take a deep breath in. Warrior two, peel the body open. Sinking deep into your front knee. Check the heels are in a line. Flip your front palm, reverse. Inhale. 
and come into extended side angle. I'm going to take your right elbow to your right knee, left arm long to the front of the room. Gaze is up towards your fingertips. Good. Nice deep breath in. Full breath out. If you want to challenge, reaching your right elbow off your knee. Good. Let's bring it back. Find the bind here, wrapping back. Open the chest to the ceiling, gaze is up. Deep breath in, full breath out. If you've got a little bit more, bringing your right hand down to the inside of your right foot. If you want to come into a full bind, go ahead and wrap it back. Looking down to the floor, let's take the left hand to the earth, spin on the back toes, reach your right arm nice and high up to the sky. Find a twist, gaze is up. Nice work. From here, we're going to come into side plank. I'm going to take your foot over all the way. Lift the hips, gaze is up. Good. Gently float your top foot up and drop it back behind you, opening for wild thing. Good. When you're ready, coming back through to center, find your high plank. Exhale to low. Upwards facing. Getting back and downwards facing dog. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Left leg lifts up. Inhale. Looking forward. Step through. Okay. High on your back toes. Let's take a moment to just land here. Okay. Deep breath in. Warrior two. Peel the body open. Good. Sink deep into that front knee. Let's flip the front palm reverse. Open side body and then come to extended side angle. So left elbow comes to left knee, right arm long. Gaze is up. Full breath if you want to challenge, lift the left arm up. Bringing it back onto the knee, let's find a bind, wrap it back. Chest is open to the ceiling. If you're searching for a little bit more maybe, Hand comes down to the inside of the foot. Maybe you reach back. Keep the chest lifting up. Deep breath in. Stay for your out breath. Looking to the floor. Right hand comes to earth. Pivot high on your back toes. Left arm lifts up nice and tall to the sky. Good. From here, let's come into side plank. So you're going to take your foot, stack the ankles, lift the gaze up. Floating top foot up. Gently drop it back behind you, open through the body, come to find wild thing on this side. Coming all the way back through, high plank, exhale to low, upwards facing, leaning back and downwards facing up. Okay. From here, you're going to walk your hands all the way back to your feet, take a hold of your two big toes. Halfway lift, inhale. Four to follow, exhale. Elbows drawing out nice and wide to either side. Tuck your chin right into your chest. Shake it out if you need to. Belly and thighs to touch. Okay. Halfway lift, inhale. Take both hands directly underneath your feet. Walk your toes up to your wrists for gorilla pose. Bow your body, come all the way down. Gently unraveling when I unfill all the way up to standing. Reach both arms up to the sky and draw your hands to your heart center. Take two big toes together at the back of your mat. Good. Hands to heart. I'm going to face you guys for this bit just to make it easier. So to start, you're going to pick up your right foot and come into tree pose. So you can do that either by placing your foot onto your calf or you might choose to place your foot onto your thigh. Keep the hands in your heart center. Find the breath. Good. If you want a little bit more, opening the arms, expanding through the chest, maybe lift the gaze up. Good. Spark into the fingertips. Let's draw the hands back through the heart center. Gently release to the floor with the foot. Good. Have a little wriggle out through the toes if you need to. Ground into that standing foot. Let's come onto the other side. Placing the foot onto either your thigh or your 
calf. Try to avoid your knee. Gaze is straight ahead. You can choose to stay here in your tree pose or work into the balance. If you fall out, fall out, come back, try again. Okay. Energy into your hands. Let's draw them back through to the heart center. Gently step the foot back onto your mat. It should be at the back of your mat somewhere. Inhale, reach up. Forward fold, exhale, bow the body. Come all the way down, nice deep forward fold. Halfway lift, walk the hands up. Let's come down to high plank. Okay, let's hold here nice and strong. Exhale to low. Upwards facing, inhale. Knitting back for your downwards facing dog. Hips are up, nice and high to the sky. Good. We're gonna start to work into the hips a little bit here. So a little bit of a wind down period. I'm gonna reach the right leg up to the sky. Inhale, nice and tall. Good, look forward and step through for a low lunge. So you're gonna drop onto your back knee. If you need to, place a towel underneath your back knee if you have sensitive knees. Good, so right foot is flat onto the mat in front of you. Good, I'm gonna reach your arms up to the sky. Make like a pointing hand. And then you're going to lift up, sink into the hips, open the chest, find your back bend there. Gently coming all the way back up. Nice work, lowering your hands onto the floor. Walk your right foot slightly over to the right a little bit more. Sink down into the hips. Maybe you decide to come onto your elbows. Head is nice and heavy. Good. Opening through this right hip. If you want, you can take your right arm back. Take a hold of your foot. Your left foot behind you. Gaze is up towards the ceiling. Drawing the heel in towards the hips, twist in the upper body. Good, and we're gonna gently release and extend. Front leg up nice and long, half split. Keep pulling your hips up and back behind you. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bow your body. Connect with the breath. If you have a little bit more space, you might choose to come into head splits. You're welcome to drop down if you have the space. If you're not quite there, you can just hang out up here if you want to. Grab a block or a cushion if you're at home. We're all at home. Um, you can place the cushion underneath your hips. Okay. And then we're going to gently move to one side. Come into pigeon. So you're going to place your shin down onto the mat. And then extend that back leg long behind you. Good. Let's sink into the hips as much as we can before we come down. And then when you're ready, begin to come down onto your mat. Good. If you are working on your elbows, beautiful, be here. If you want to, you can bring your hands, take a prayer behind the back of your neck. Keep stretching out through your triceps as well as the hip. Deep breath in. Sigh it out. One more round of breath. Gently releasing the hands to the floor, walking them back. Okay. Keeping both hands pressed into earth, you're going to tuck your back toes, lift your hips. Come to find downwards facing dog and just feel into the space that you have now through this right hip. Left leg lifts up nice and tall. Looking forward, step through. Low lunge, so dropping down onto your back knee to start. Okay. You can choose to stay here or maybe sink into the hips if you want. Take your pointing fingers and then reach up to the ceiling. Deep breath in. Let's begin to find a back bend. Gently coming 
back through to center, draw the hands down to the mat, walk the left foot over to the left a little more. You can choose to stay here working on your hands or you might come down to your elbows. If you're looking for the variation, keep your right hand on the floor, twist, left arm comes back, picking up through the outside of this back foot. Gaze is up, sink into the hips, shine the chest up towards the ceiling. Gently releasing. Let's come to find our half split on the side. Good. You need to walk the foot a little bit more in line with the hip. Go for it. Pull the hips back and up. Deep breath in. Exhale, bow. The body come down. If you're working into full splits, go ahead and take that variation on this side. Sinking into your front knee. Dropping into the back hip. And then shimmy into one side. Come to sit up for your pigeon here. Back leg is nice and long behind you. Hips are drawing down towards the mat as much as you can. If your hips are not close to the mat, don't worry about it. You can take a pillow. I will totally use one for the next video to show you guys where you can um, add a little bit of assistance if you need. You know, walk the hands down in front of you. Good. Gently press your forehead onto the mat. If it's there, you can go ahead and take the prayer behind the back of your neck, just like we did on the other side. If it's not there, don't force it. Just be where you're up to. Be present, be with the breath. Deep inhale. Sigh it out if you need to. If you're working on your elbows, let your head be nice and heavy. Good, and then gently pressing back into your final downward facing dog of our floor today. Hips up nice and high. Good, and we'll rinse out with one more vinyasa. So let's roll through, find high plank. Good, keep the elbows drawing in, lowering down to your low chaturanga. Upwards facing dog, inhale. Chest is coming forward, downwards facing dog. Hips up nice and high. Good. From here, you're gonna make your way into a seated position however you want to, so you can step or jump through. If you're jumping through, you're going to come up onto your tippy toes and then cross your legs and lengthen them out long in front of you. So we're going to work into forward folds. Okay. With your legs out nice and long in front of you, taking a deep breath in. Bow the body coming down. Okay. Head is nice and heavy. If belly and thighs don't touch, bend your knees. You're going to come down. Soften. Wherever you're up to. And then when you're ready, coming all the way back up, you're going to take the legs out nice and wide, as wide as you can. Wriggle yourself forward so your sit bones are on the mat. Good. And you might push the heels out a little bit. Take a deep breath in. Lengthen the upper body and then bowing forward. So you might just come to here or some be here. If you have more space, you can come down onto the mat, draw your chest down and forehead down onto the floor. Five breaths. When you're ready, gently coming all the way back up. Beautiful. I want to draw the legs together. Come to lie down onto your back. Take the knees and give yourself a nice big hug here. Okay. Gently taking your feet to the floor. Check that the heels are about where you can touch with your fingers. So feet are hip width distance apart. If you look down, your knees, your knees and your hips are in line with one another. I'm going to come into a few back bends today just to open and energize. So you're going to lift up the hips, squeeze the glutes, press into your heels, draw the hands underneath you, interlacing your fingers, and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Gaze is up towards the sky. 
hips are out nice and tall. Deep breath in, full breath out. Gently releasing back down onto your mat. You can draw your arms out wide and sway the knees side to side. I'm gonna do one more back bend today just to really open up through the body. So you can choose to stay with what we've just done, which was your bridge, or you might come into a wheel. So whatever back bend feels good for you. If you're coming into a wheel, take the fingers beside you and then lift, press up. I'm going to stay for five breaths. When you're ready, gently lowering back down onto the floor. Then you can take your knees, sway them side to side. Draw them gently in towards your chest. And then rocking up. So find your seat one last time. Take the soles of the feet together, knees quite wide. Notice there's some space here, so we don't want to be too squished in. Take a deep breath in, lengthen through your spine, and then bow your body coming forward. Head is heavy, what is that? See if you can tuck your chin in towards your chest. Gently releasing back down onto your mat. All the way onto the floor. Draw the right knee in towards your chest. Extend the left leg long. Gently squeezing your right knee in towards right shoulder. Inhale to fill the belly. Exhale to twist. Knee goes over to the left. Gaze goes to the right. Rinsing out, squeezing out through your spine. Full breaths here. Final cleansing of your practice today. You're ready, gently coming back through to center, hiking the knee in, and swapping out onto the other side. Extend right leg long, inhale to squeeze, left knee in, compress, and exhale, twist, knee goes to the right, gaze is to the left. And gently drawing yourself back through to center, hug the knees in, and we'll find your happy baby. Take a hold of the feet nice and wide. Gently swaying out through your hips. You can straighten the legs if you need to. See if you can get your whole spine onto the mat. And sway it out side to side. Good. And then extend your legs down nice and long. Allow your hands to come and rest beside you. Closing your eyes down. Taking a deep breath. Open your mouth, sigh it out, deep breath in, sigh it out, come to rest in your Shavasana, finding stillness here. You're welcome to stay in your Shavasana for as long as you like. When you're ready, you can come up. Gently draw the knees in. Making your way up into a seated position. With your legs crossed. Keeping your eyes closed. Draw the hands to your heart center. Tucking your chin slightly. Deep breath in, full breath out. Feel into 
this newfound space and presence within the body and breath, your mind. Thank you for coming to share your practice with me and joining me this way. Namaste.